Woman wakes up to find she has been kidnapped, and she is being kept as a dog. A heavy dog collar is placed around her neck, and she is chained to the wall. Mary tries to remove the collar, but it is not useful. She tried to pull the chain to no avail. She anxiously slapped the wall and screamed for help, but no one responded. She looked out and saw a man standing in the doorway, wearing a mask and a protective suit. Mary was terrified, but when she looked out again, the man had disappeared. Mary didn't know what he was up to. All she knew was that the rest of her life was going to be very difficult. She was next to a gutter for the toilet. They didn't think of her as a person at all. At that moment, the staff brought a dog food. Mary sniffed it, and it tasted so disgusting that she decided not to eat it. So Mary slept in her kennel and starved for three days. The staff brought the dog food again. He put the food bowl far away on purpose. Hungry Mary reached for it, but couldn't reach it. She adjusted her position and tried again, but failed. She finally stretched out her legs and reached the dog food. Mary immediately devoured the food without a care in the world. However, she didn't know that the dog food had a sedative in it. After eating, Mary began to feel sick. Eventually she fainted. It was a sick experiment in treating people like dogs. Mary, the kidnapped woman, was watched every minute of every day. Her every move was recorded and used to analyze her every psychological activity. The next day, Mary was awakened by water. Then she was taken outside. For the first time, Mary felt free. When she saw the staff going in, Mary tried to escape. However, she was wearing a smart collar around her neck. When Mary started to run, the collar tightened automatically, making it impossible for her to breathe. Mary ran towards the barbed wire fence. As soon as her hand touched the wire, she was electrocuted. It seemed impossible for her to escape. A woman was kidnapped by a mysterious man and kept as a dog. She hears a man yelling from the side. There's a new member of the dog pen, and he's barking angrily. Jack pokes his head in to say hello to Mary. They're far apart. Jack was kidnapped to here, too. He and Mary talked for a while. They mainly discussed the situation here. It's lunchtime again, and the staff brain into tubs of dog food. Mary picked up the food and ate it, but Jack tried to discourage her. Jack tried to dissuade her, because he guessed there must be sedative in the dog food. Their conversation was overheard by the man at the door. The man slammed the door in anger to stop them. Then he walked in quickly and charged at the man. Mary tries to stop him, but she's then stunned by an electric baton. The staff then punished Jack's behavior by kicking and punching him. Mary wakes up and realizes that Jack is even closer to her. The staff brings lunch again, and this time the man decided to eat it. He tastes it and finds it not as bad as he thought it would be, but they both begin to feel dizzy and then hallucinated. In the hallucination, they were in a house, close as husband and wife. They were very happy in the dream. Jack was quickly moved again. He was next to Mary. The two of them grew closer and closer to each other. They developed a feeling of dependence on each other. The staff saw this and roared with rage outside. Jack came up with a plan to escape. While they were sleeping, the staff came in. Jack was pretending to be asleep. He waited for the person to pass by and knocked him out. Jack stole the staff's key and rushed to unlock for Mary and himself. They finally had a chance to escape. Just as Jack turned around, Mary lifted the iron basin and hit him hard on the head. Jack passed out. A downseeing men were locked in the dog pen. They were all Mary's ex-boyfriends. Luke has always had a crush on Mary. He brought them all here to make her happy. Luke got down on one knee and asked Mary to marry him. She is very confused inside. Mary is also a perverted woman. In order to make the man she loves fall in love with her, she joins forces with Luke and Nana to keep him as a dog. Then she came to the dog pen to communicate with Jack herself. The plan was a success, but Jack tried to escape. Luckily, he was knocked out by Mary in time. Then Mary and Luke had an argument because the plan is to only put sedatives in the dog food. But she and Jack are hallucinating. Mary suspects Luke is experimenting on them. But Luke denies it. The experiment continues and Mary returns to the dog pen. When Jack wakes up, she tells him that their escape plan was all this hallucination. Jack believes it because he has had hallucinations before. Crazy Luke. In order to be with Mary, he drugged and controlled Nana. Then he brought her to Jack. And Nana told Jack the truth about the experiment. Jack is disappointed in Mary for being lied to him. Mary was so angry, she began to loathe Nana. Luke brought Mary to the two men and gave her a tablet computer. He gives her a choice between Jack and Nana to alive. Mary didn't hesitate to let Nana die, but the collar around Jack's neck tightened and Luke lied to her. Mary regretted it, but it was too late. Jack died. In order to escape, Mary pretended to obey Luke. She then tried to kill herself by clicking her button. When Luke wasn't looking, Luke rushed to remove her collar. As Luke kissed Mary, she fought back. Then she escaped with Nana. They hid in the bathroom. But when Luke got close, Nana used her weapon to knock him out. And Mary tortured Luke to death with an electric baton. Then she killed Nana for revenge. Mary took off Nana's glasses and her clothes. Then she escaped by pretending to be Nana. In the end, Mary survived the experiment alone. And that's the end of the movie. The movie is called Like Dolls. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, you can subscribe to me.